Good morning. You listen to FloridaLA.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is John England, the Vice President of Cortec with Shaw Industries. John, how you doing? Doing good, Kemp. Thanks for having me on today. Yeah, it's good to talk to you. You're working on putting a little bit more discipline behind the MAP pricing. MAP stands for Minimum Advertised Pricing. With the days of the internet now, that's a core item that needs to be focused on. Let's get into that in just a minute. First, let's talk a little bit about you. You've actually grown up in the flooring business. And you've been with Shaw for two and a half years. You spent just about two years at J.J. Haynes on the distribution side. Spent 14 and a half years at Mohawk. Right after graduating from Georgia, you got in the family business, which was Westbury Carpets in the Atlanta area. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Spent a couple of years running away from the industry after college, but quickly got back into it. This industry is something I love. The people, the relationships that I've had since, since I was a kid growing up in it. All right. So I introduced you as the vice president of a brand, one of Shaw's most important brands, Cortec. Most people know the history on Cortec. It was started as an innovation with Pete Dauche at uh, U.S. Floors. You guys acquired it. It's 10 years old now and well over a billion in annual sales. So it's probably one of the strongest brands in the business with what's happened with Armstrong and Stainmaster could well be the strongest consumer brand in the business, wouldn't you say? I would absolutely agree. There's been a lot of investment from people, from technology, all the things that go in to make Cortec what it is ha- has been just amazing. We believe that it is the, the premium brand in the industry, especially in hard surface. Well, I got to compliment Shaw for you know having a vice president of this core brand and also building a team. I know you've added some staff and you've got a lot of people just focused purely on this product. I know Nikki Rayburn, who has a background in advertising, is on your team and there's a lot of other players as well, right? Yeah, I inherited a, a great team of people. One of the main focuses, you know, coming in to to manage the brand and, and really lead that was to make sure that we had people that woke up every day and thought about Cortec, thought about the consumers that we're trying to reach, thinking about the customers and all of the different avenues that they reach those consumers and how we enable them to be successful. So when you talk about Nikki, her team that includes Maud Swallens, there are others. We have Natalie, Katie, who's been a part of it on the product side. We've invested in the design aspects to really continue to propel that forward as a component of a differentiator for Cortec. But we have assembled the team. I think you'll continue to see that team grow because this is something that Cortec is making the long-term bet on that we feel is, is, a, is a pretty safe return. So we want to put the investments and resources behind that. All right. So the issue, as the consumers out there doing research and they hear about a brand and they just do some keyword searches with the brand, you know, one of the problems with the internet is people can pay per click. They can almost steal the traffic away from you know, the Cortec website and bring it over to their website, and then they can promise the best deal. So tell us a little bit about what you've done with this MAP policy. What our goal and intent around our MAP policy is to protect our brand. Our mission is not just the online experience, and there are multiple avenues. So you can look at print, you can look at radio, television, websites, online marketplaces, social media, You know, the list goes on and on today about how a consumer can connect to uh, different products and and, and our brand, again, being in that premium position, we want to protect that value. And part of that value is the experience that the consumer has. So whatever avenue that they come in to experience the Cortec brand, really our MAP policy addresses that. And it's really around advertising. So if you look at the transactional component, we're not looking to control that. So as consumers get into the transactional component, there is freedom to price and, and discount and do different things that the free market you know, really does. But as far as advertising, as far as shopping, as far as entering that journey to purchase a product, that's the part that we really want to to influence and, and, and have some maintenance around to make sure that that experience uh, is is one that aligns to our brand, our investments, and, and we what the value that we believe it delivers is. You know, if you're a retailer and you want to devote a lot of space to one brand, you want to be able to get paid back for that investment you're making. And if there's somebody else out there that's undercutting on price, 
you know, people start buying on price alone. So you're putting together a policy that um, kind of levels the playing field, right? Yeah, we're putting together a policy to protect the value of the brand that we have. Retailers, resellers, there are different terminology in, a, in our MAP policy. Anybody who's selling the Cortec brand, they do have freedom to transact however they wish for the most part. Ours is all about the experience and protecting that experience that's there. So I would say the investments that we've made to date will not compare to the investments that we make as we move forward. Again, talking about that doubling down. So we want to position ourselves as that premium brand experience as we launch out into new areas of of growth and opportunity. So there'll be some communications directly with your channel partners as to all the details with this, right? Yeah, absolutely. So that's all going out. Our sales force is poised to have conversations with every retailer and partner in the market and and what the expectations are because we we hold Cortec in in, in high value. We The expectation is that those retailers and different selling partners that we have in the market maintain that same high standard and brand image for Cortec and and what it stands for. So we want to empower our partnerships. So while some of this may seem restrictive, this is really to bolster our partnerships with everyone and every, you know, selling medium that exists today to deliver to that that value that we've talked about many times. You just said everyone, but uh, you've already got some discipline around what channels you're going through because you can't find Cortec at the home center, can you? That's correct. You do see some Cortec technology but not the brand of Cortec that's there today. So we want to ensure um, that we have the brand, the brand image in the right channels with the right partners. Um, And we'll continue to do that as we move forward. So there are some other places you can find Cortec technology as well. So that's part of this investigation period that we're in as we're crafting the long-term strategy for Cortex is where are we today? What are the channels and partners that really align to what the brand delivers and and what the expectations are from the different pieces of of the chain? So we're excited about that um, and, and really do want to protect our brand as we move forward. John, why don't you give me some of the details about how you're making this MAP program have more teeth? Yeah, I would say the big difference with this new updated policy for Cortec is the ability to monitor what's happening. So we've invested in surveillance capabilities, both manual and automated, to ensure that there's proper adherence to our policy. And then the enforcement part of that. And I would say it's very robust or healthy. Um, it's really a three strikes you're out policy. I think it shows the commitment that we do have to the brand and and its future and and how we want to protect the the value of it. Some are going to say, man, this is this is this is hard and fast. And yes, it is because that is is truly the intent is to protect our brand and the value that it creates. Okay, John, appreciate you sharing some of this information about Cortex minimum advertised price discipline that you're rolling out. Again, been talking to John England, the vice president of Cortex at Shaw Industries, and you've been listening to Kempar at floridaily.net.